Well, it's, it's been a while since I made a video on the Corvette. Uh, improvements that I made to it is I put a, a gear reduction starter on it so that it'll start up when it gets warm. I had a problem with it before. Once it was warmed up, I'd have to wait until it cooled down for it before it started. So anyway, I put a gear reduction starter on there that I bought at Summit. And it has to be mounted upside down with the solenoid <laughs> downward, which is actually kind of a good way to have it. Because that way the wires, instead of going up there below the exhaust manifold or headers and around behind the cylinder head and shorting out, they're down there where you can get to them a lot easier. But all part of the drivability still got to go through and hook up a whole lot more wires to it no, i got to wire the whole car actually but i've been making it drive better i've also got it registered as an antique auto i still haven't had my side pipes welded on properly yet they're just kind of jerry-rigged on with screws and things like that but i'll have to go to the muffler shop and get those welded on good but I want to make sure that they weld them on in the right spot. But it's all about actually getting the car to where it's a little bit more drivable. Where it'll start up whenever I get there. Also getting it legal. It's got insurance on it. I've had it in my name for five years, but I didn't have plates on it. And this is Saturday, November 7th. Still good days. Look at all the hot rods you can have. One day I'll redo this thing again and make it nicer. Same thing with the 55 Chevrolet. After the Corvette, I hope to get back on that 63 Chevrolet. I needed to be able to move the Corvette from where it was at so that I'd have a space to work on that. I'm a little bit landlocked. But anyway, Let's take this thing for a drive. Now after I bragged about how it starts up real well, watch it not start. <laughs> but anyway, another good thing that has happened is I've got that shifter working a whole lot better. All I had to do was really lube it up good. Now I had it oiled up fine whenever I put it in there. But something about spraying the lube that I put on it this time, it works a lot better. But anyway... It sounds a little different. one of my favorite places but I'm about to run out of battery it's down here at the Union Pacific train yard it's like watching a train set at all times up here And these things look good about the big block in there. It just fills that engine space so well. <laughs> I can't wait to finish putting the rest of it together.
I guess I'll keep filming until this thing runs out of battery, which is soon. Anyway, thanks for watching.